Good things come in small packages is a statement that holds true for the Republic of Palau. Situated just above the equator in Micronesia, this archipelago comprises over 300 islands spread over 560 kilometres. Known internationally by keen scuba divers as one of the seven wonders of the diving world, Palau has a lot to offer visitors who are in search of environmental utopia. To help keep this beautiful island nation in as pristine a state as possible, IUCN has been working with partners to promote energy efficiency and encourage behavioural change towards energy consumption. The National Development Bank of Palau has an energy efficient subsidy program uh, and that program is funded by the Austrian and the Italian government and what we do is we uh, help the new homeowners uh, build their homes and uh, have the energy measures put in their homes and the subsidy is used to subsidize their loan so the loan can be lowered so it, it helps our client and it also helps um, with the climate change and uh, subsidizing uh, measures in place to get away from the fossil fuel and uh, diesel type of fuel. The energy efficient subsidy program is just one of the National Development Bank of Palau energy efficient loan program. We also have the retro for renovating uh, older homes and we also have the solar program. So we decided to start with the basic traditional local island house, which is concrete blocks, uh, wood roof structure and metal roof, uh, which had typically been very hot and uncomfortable during the day and very expensive to air condition. We came up with measures that we could apply to the houses to make them much more comfortable, uh, not need air conditioning and much less expensive to operate. The primary area of concern on these houses is the roof structure, because in the tropics, the sun's heat comes primarily through the roof less so through the walls and somewhat through the windows. We start with a white metal roof, which reflects the heat, doesn't absorb it. Uh, under that is a radiant barrier insulation. It's a reflective foil product that keeps the heat from penetrating through into the attic space. And we also provide ventilation throughout the entire perimeter of the roof structure to keep that attic space cool. So once those are accomplished, we cut down about 80% of the solar heat that comes into the house. Then we put in other features such as ceiling fans, compact fluorescent lights, instant water heaters, and other measures that all in all will reduce the energy consumption of the house by half to three quarters easily and perhaps even more. The energy efficiency subsidy program was actually developed as a, one of the activities to, to meet our targets for the na national energy policy, which is a 20% uh, renewable energy, 30% energy efficiency at the uh, supply side and demand side by the year 2020. So that is uh, our target for the national energy policy. So the future of the project is, is really to educate the homeowners, uh, educate private sector, the uh, contractors, vendors, uh, as well as our local government. We need that political support as well for these type of programs. It's actually the first to actually trickle down to the grassroots level. In previous cases, there have been several energy projects, but they come and they go to either government buildings or large facilities where this is actually a program where the actual homeowner or individual resident can, can actually take advantage of. And this house is really cool inside. I don't think we're going to have to use all that uh, power for cooling inside the house. So I think uh, it would save us a lot of money. This IUCN-led program has seen nearly 60 homes built and over 30 in the construction and planning stages, with the funding capacity for 21 more applications. Due to the overwhelming success of this forward-thinking program, IUCN has put into place a second round of funding to allow another 32 homes to become more energy efficient. Music